so we'll jump into goals and time, Paul. You gave me a bit of a, a you gave me a bit of a choice of what team to choose for you. You gave me Scotland, Celtic. You said not to do Queen of South. <laughs> And, and, and Newcastle, so, but you'll be happy to know because you've said in this episode that you you go to a lot of Scotland games. I've chosen Scotland. Yeah. How do you think you're going to get on? I think I think I'll do okay if it's famous goals. It was big goals. It, funnily enough, if you'd chosen very recent goals, I'd have been at the games probably. Two of them are quite recent, right? And um, at home, so I mean, I would. I, it's just because I'd have been. Probably pissed. I wouldn't have remembered them. <laughs> um, if there were home games and stuff, but yeah, I'll, let's let's give it a go. I'm sure it'll be fine. I like I like the I like the confidence. A lot of people uh, the past few weeks have come on going mm, not going to do well. So we'll jump in. First goal, Paul, on the 10th of June, 2017. So oh, bloody hell, that's nearly an anniversary for it. Nearly five, uh, six years, bloody hell. Scotland played England. And they drew two all. And this is Lee Griffiths making the score 1 1 in a game that finished two all. Griffiths takes and scores his first goal for Scotland. And what a time to get it! What a way to get it! 1 1. I think we just found out that Martin Tyler's a Scotland fan because that's the most excited I've ever heard him for a goal. <laughs> You might have heard Gary Neville go on about that game as well and said it's the loudest noise he's ever heard in a stadium in his life, apparently. Yeah, I, I rewatched the whole, well, not the whole game, but all the highlights of the game and that, that noise, especially when the second one goes in. DL. But yeah, what minute was Lee Griffiths' equaliser? This is going to be a great start for me because I know exactly when oh. this goal was. <laughs> um, I was at the game, but I've seen it so many times. <sighs> I'm, at worst, I'm going to be a minute out. I think it was. It was definitely. I know the second goal was on ninety minutes. Um, I'm going to say eighty-seven. Say eighty-seven minutes. I'm going to go. Good choice. Absolutely bang on. Ooh, <laughs> that gives me and, a wee kiss, me. Yeah, and a lovely another little coincidence. He's keep coming up in this podcast. He's just literally been mentioned five minutes ago. On the 9th of October, 2021, I remember watching this game live. Scotland beat Israel 3-2. And this is Scott McTominay winning the game for Scotland. Scotland, it's John McGinn to float it in. Yes! It's in! By Scott McTominay! This is big! This is huge! This is massive! Oh, I love Ali McCoy so much. <laughs> yes! Uh, not, this is not as easy. Um, was it the second? I'm sure it was the second half. I'm going to go... Is it, get, it, do you want me to tell you what... Did I tell you what score it made it, sorry? Yeah. Uh, it, it made it... Sorry, that was the winning goal. The winning goal, that was. Yeah. I'm sure it was like... 60 odds. I'll go 65 minutes. 94th minute. Wow! Oh, so yeah. much. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I thought you would have got that. I, thought I you really I that remember game. it so well as well. Uh, yeah, that's wow. Cool. I thought you would have got that. I thought, were you there? Is that, was, that, was that a home game? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, was, was it was it World Cup, World Cup qualifier to take you through yeah. to the, the playoff? Yeah. Yeah, that's poor. <laughs> wow. I thought you would have got that bang on. And then, so, third goal. Again, he's just literally been mentioned. 18th of June, 1996. Scotland beat Switzerland 1-0 at Euro 96. And this is Ali McCoy's goal to put Scotland ahead and win them the game. Set it up for McCoy. What minute did Ali McCoy win the game against Switzerland back in Euro 96? This is a hard one because of how long ago it was. <laughs> what a goal that was as well. Yeah. Um, I know, I know, I know it was, a, it was definitely in the first half. I'm going to go f- towards the end of it. I'm going to go 41 minutes towards the end of the half. I'm sure it was. 
36. So only five out. Not too mm. bad. Not too bad. I did. I thought you were going to go 30 then because it sounded like you went, Shh, but. Yeah. Aye. I'd, I'd, I'd always remember it just being a kind of tentative, really tentative second half and going into the break feeling kind of all right. These are kind of games that they become such big moments that you kind of look back on and you see just because we're not being there as much as we'd like to be. So these goals become yeah. really iconic. Um, and as I said, what a goal, what a goal it was. I right, watching back the highlights, it could have been about three or four, four up before that goal, that goal yeah. went in. <laughs> Wearing that beautiful uh, tartan shirt that was mentioned earlier as well. Someone. This might... I don't know this this one's I don't know if this will be a hard one or not, just because of the circumstances. On the twelfth of November twenty twenty, Serbia played Scotland and they drew one all. Scotland went on to win the game on penalties and booked their place at Euro twenty twenty, which was Euro twenty twenty one. But the circumstances might be hard because of it's a COVID game, so there's no crowd, so you can't really judge. Yeah. But yeah, this is Ryan Christie's goal to make the game one nil. Callum McGregor. And now Ryan Christie. And Christie! He's done it! Step forward! Ryan Christie! Scotland! Oh, I can't tell you how much I do not miss those games with COVID. That fake crowd <laughs> noise is awful, isn't it? Incredible. Again, this is not... I'm probably not going to do myself any favours here. It's such a huge game for us, but I am struggling with that one big time. <laughs> um, it must have been later on. I'll say 72. 52. Oh! So 20 out, 20 out. 20 out, okay. I actually complete somehow... Completely forgot about this goal and this game ever existed until I Googled it. Because on the 12th of September 2007, Scotland played France away from home and won 1 0. Yeah. And I can't believe, watching this back, I can't believe I forgot this goal. This is James McFadden winning the game for Scotland. <laughs> Oh, Scotland go for an eminent end! He's done it again! James McFadden scores for Scotland! That's a brave shirt from Deodora as well. <laughs> nice, I quite like it actually. That's a good one actually. That was the best one they did have. Uh, I am I know this one already. And I feel uh, like I, I feel a wee bit of a cheat here because there's this kind of special edition of this sh shot coming out by a company called Hannon. And the number of the minute of the goals in oh. unknown. So I'll take it. Yeah, you take it. I believe it's 64 minutes. Absolutely bang on. And it's not cheating. If a football shirt has helped you, you should probably actually get bonus points for it. But... <laughs> no, so your uh, final score is, I've just literally just said it, I can't remember, 54. And that puts you, Paul, 11th out of. 17, so not bad. It's all right. It's just yeah. that, it's that one that's got me, let's be honest. Yeah, that's, oh, I can't believe you did uh, That is brutal. I'll be getting ripped for that. <laughs> I thought the commentary might have gave it away, just how raucous it was, but. Uh, I'll wow. take it, I'll take it. My table's all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's it. We're done. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. No, listen, I appreciate it. I was I enjoyed that. It was good. Do you want to give yourself a plug? Yeah, so mate, mostly just for me, it is Twitter at Football Shots and fairly active on, on TikTok, just at the same name, Football Shots. Um, I quite enjoy the bit of content on there. I am on Instagram, um, Football underscore Shots. can't believe somebody already had Football Shots. Absolutely oh, unbelievable. It's so annoying. It's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the same thing. I know. I'm just. I'm. Uh, guys got loads of Rangers shots as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't. I don't know. There's something about Instagram. I just don't. I don't click with it as much. But I am on there. Um, so yeah, always happy to 
speak to anyone or sometimes I get messages, you maybe get it yourself, just people going, what do you think of this shot? Where can I pick this up? Is this genuine? And I always like, always quite like that as well, helping out MD if I can. So yeah, up for that. So again, appreciate it. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Goals in Time. If you could please subscribe and hit the notification bell, it would do me a massive favour. Also, don't forget to follow the podcast on all socials at Shirts in Time Pod.